Where are these Forland Mountains exactly? Those are the mountains you encounter if you walk deep enough into the Lavtu marshlands. I don't remember there being any sort of path like that around there. It's possible we overlooked something before. It wouldn't hurt to look again. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Armored soldiers! Some of Volron's former guards. Let's take them out quick before things get messy. Oh, glory unto Volron! Lay down your arms and no one has to get hurt. Silence! Traitors like you shall never walk free. I knew you were stubborn, but you don't have to be so damn dramatic. What's with the hole here? Is that supposed to be their hideout? It doesn't look like it's freshly dug, whatever it is. Maybe it's the entrance to a path to Cislodia. <sighs> Everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. I don't know when it happened, but we sure are hauling a lot of stuff these days. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Glad to hear I'm not the only one. We should probably clear some stuff out, like our old weapons we're not using anymore. They must be in pretty bad shape by now. No way. Those are still good as new with a little polishing. If anything, I'd say all our armor is what's weighing us down. But that armor is also still good once you fix it up. Besides, Better to have too much armor than too little. You can trust me on that one. 
Well, what about all these dumb old antiques we're lugging around? If we sell those off, that should lighten our load. Simpleton, such as yourself, who can't appreciate the true worth of such things, is how precious art vanishes from history. Pretty art's not gonna save you in a fight, man. Stop it, you guys! This is no time to... All I really meant to say is, you can tell how much we've been through by everything we're carrying around. Honestly, that's all. Oh. My deepest apologies. It appears that I may have rather overreacted. Yeah, I guess it's only natural we'd have so many souvenirs by now. I might have been out of line too. I guess all this stuff really is a sign of how far we've come together. Yeah, every little piece is its own treasure filled with memories. Our superiority was undeniable. It feels invigorating to dominate a battle. I was certain I saw you yawn. Come now, I'm certainly not that relaxed. Tell me, Alfin, wherever did you learn how to wield a sword? I was wondering the same thing too, actually. I'm guessing you knew how to fight before you met the Crimson Crows, right? I used to be a soldier who served a Danon master. I never saw the guy's face, but I still fought for him because he was my employer. Looking back, it wasn't all that different from being a slave. A Danon master? That must have been before the Renans brought you to Lenigus 300 years ago. You must fight using real Danon techniques then. Really? We used to have our own sword arts? There's a lot of our own history we've lost since the Renans first invaded. It's not all magic and art. I'm sure it includes things like sword styles too. It's incredible and also a little surreal to see those arts still survive after all this time. Not only that, but I first learned these moves while serving one ruler, only to end up turning my sword on the ruling class altogether. Pretty ironic when you think about it. I apologize if I dredged up unfortunate memories for you. Nah, we're good. It's in the past now. All we ever did in those days was stir up trouble. You're using those skills for a good cause now. It's not all bad. I suppose this is what people mean when they say that every cloud has its silver lining. Exactly. He's using those sword skills to make the world better. Could be a lot worse. True enough. I will stop worrying about mentioning it then. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. No wonder we couldn't manage to find them. They've been holed up here all this time, hiding. The remnants of Volron's forces. You think they were planning an ambush on Pelegian? Possibly. Then again, knowing how blind their devotion is, maybe they were just waiting. Waiting? For Volron, you mean? Even though we already defeated him? But, yes, I suppose you're right. For these guys, that would just be a technicality. They act more like worshippers than subjects. They're probably still in denial that he was overthrown in the first place. Either that, or they were biding their time until the next crown contest. Either way, their allegiance is to their lord. Who they're convinced and expectant will return. So in the meantime, they wait patiently in preparation for the day that he finally does. That's way more than just loyalty. It's no less than total subjugation. Oh, I'm 
energy was incredible. I gave it everything. You've noticed it, haven't you? Noticed what? I'm referring to Shion. I never thought you of all people would come to me about her. Yes, well, what concerns me has more to do with what machinations may be currently unfolding in secret on Lenigus as we make our way along this tunnel. And you're saying it's related to Shion in some way? Perhaps. She believed there was a good possibility that the Renis Alma may free her from her thorns. One would think after losing the Renis Alma, she would be more dismayed. And yet she isn't. Why? There's also the matter of the power that she inherited from. You heard what she said. She didn't know about the Maiden's power. Mere ignorance does not preclude her deep connection to the events unfolding around us. You recall when her thorns went rampant in Castle Del Faris. I've never seen dark astral energy manifest in such a way. I thought you said all Renans had dark astral energy inside of them. Correct. However, what Xion exhibited was far beyond what any ordinary citizen could ever possibly possess. <laughs> Let me be clear. I do not intend to cast doubt on Xion or her motives. Nevertheless, I cannot shake the feeling that there's more to all of this than what we currently know. Do you disagree? It's obvious that people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms. You think Volron really did? Seal it off to keep it hidden then? Seems like it. Those soldiers we encountered might have known about it, and chosen to hide out here. But with the entrance collapsed and exposed, they must have been forced to come out. Get lost! In a bind? A chain between heaven and Take earth. Take this! A wailing dance! Free of life! Release this deity! Orochi's fury! Stay calm. Do it! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Blade. Dance in the wind! Not a chance! They smite with black and blade! The heavens must be smiling. Onward and upward. I see supplies and other signs people were living here. Even Zugul cages. Definitely looks like this is where the remnants of Volron's forces hold themselves up. Yeah. They were hiding in a place like this all along. Coming through! Why do you hear me? To stop you dying? Ah, oh, right. Begin! I need something. You got fire! You need to be healed! How the mighty have fallen. Allow me to help you. All yours! I'm grateful. I don't know what I do if I'm here. Perhaps now isn't the time? I really don't. 
blood. We do it! We do it! The enemy wields our pursuit. Coming through! Ha! Now! Scarlet Inferno! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Looks like some solid equipment. Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. in your garments. You really do have quite the discerning eye, Dohalim. I found some equipment. Let me take a look at it. So they have to steal from us to be satisfied. What's that thing's purpose, anyway? Some kind of siphon that sends the astral energy the Lord's harvested to Lenigus? Not as far as I'm aware. That said, it has become evident since the forming of the Renis Alma, as well as other recent events, that my insight may be... thin. I would, as I believe the saying goes, take what I say with a grain of salt. No, Halim. At the very least, I believe we can assume that whoever is pulling the strings behind the scenes has had this in the works for quite some time. Why is that? The people on Lenigus may have plenty of resources at their disposal, but not even they could prepare something like that in a mere month. Something of that magnitude takes considerable time, as well as a predetermined goal in mind. Then what was the crown contest for? 
At this stage, I think it was but one step in the greater scheme we see unfolding before us. What that scheme is exactly, I haven't a clue. For now, I believe we should keep moving. The path continues. It's quite possible it will take us all the way to Cislodia. Agreed. Let's keep moving. So Xion's thorns are dark astral energy. Rinwell, are you worried about Xion? Of course I am. But I don't know how to talk to her about it. You and me both. Come to think of it, what happened to those four lights that fell from Lenegus along with the Wedge? All four of them scattered in different directions. It's anyone's guess where on Dana they might have landed. I'm not entirely sure, but it seemed like those lights may have all been different elements of astral energy. So even though they're using the Wedge to siphon off energy from Dana, they're shooting it back down to Dana as well? Why? I don't know. It all happened so suddenly. Hopefully it's not a sign of some new threat we'll have to deal with. But if that Red Woman has anything to do with the Wedge, then what could that light... It's weird, isn't it? Oh? The Red Woman. Xion and Dohalim said they'd never seen her before Pelegian. Are you saying they're lying to us? No, it's not that I think they're lying, just... There has to be some reason for it, right? Well, one thing the two of them have in common is that they're both Renans. Okay, you two. Put a pin in it for now. I know that we're in the dark about a lot, but for now, let's focus on getting through these mountains. Yeah, of course. sudden after we passed the peak. La. Yeah, we're getting close. Get lost! A chain of the Dragon form! Begin! Elusive deity! Eagle wave! You're finished! 
My natural defense is a failure. I've got you. Let a marksman handle it. Me. All yours. Dragon form. What would Resonate I do now? Man, I'm I'm as impressive as always. Ah, here I hope there was a No, I mean, you're even better than ever. I've never seen Xion actually in this structure. Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Sopla! Ha-ha! Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. the better. I'm ready for the next battle. Let's see what you've got. Dragon form! takes a singular will. Gotta break through! In a bind? Dragon Swarm! I shall ensure you survive this! It is the Burn! Do it! Astral energy! Say no more! Gut! Well done! Monster! Barely a blip on our radar. We got some good equipment! I can't say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. We made it to Cislodia. We need to get that bridge down somehow. It looks like we can control it from our side. Let's take a closer look. <sighs> Are you okay, Law? Hmm? Oh, fine. Just thinking. The past is a real downer. And that's why I'm focused on what's ahead of me. You? Yeah. I'm going to stay the path. As long as we're all together, I know we'll be all right. Same here. Now let's get moving. Thank you. 
Oh, good. We can cross through here. Stop! Who goes there? My name is Alfin. We're not your enemies. Did you say Alfin? Slap me silly, it really is you! Forgetting someone? Renwell! Oh, glad to see you're doing okay. What are you guys doing out here? We're patrolling the realm. Never thought I'd bump into you all on my rounds, though. Heck, enough of me, though. What's going on up in the sky? Feels like the world's gonna end. That's what we're trying to figure out ourselves. And as it happens, I've got a big favor to ask. I had an inkling that's why you'd come back, as soon as I saw you in the distance. So you beat all the lords, huh? Damn, you really must be a hero. I just did what I had to. So can you send anybody to help Ganeth Haros? I think we can help out. I'll hit up the other resistance groups and rustle up some support. I doubt they'll have a problem sending people once I mention it's you who's asking. Thanks. If you guys can help out, that'll give us a chance to do something about that wedge out in the ocean. Yeah, I think that's something only you guys can handle. Speaking of which, that thing's out in the middle of the ocean. How do you even plan on reaching it? By boat. We're about to go look for one. No rest for the weary, I see. Hey, what happened to that mask you used to wear? It's a long story. Let's just say I lost it. I sure never expected to run into Bregan. So this Lodi is probably in good hands with him. Yeah, now we can focus on finding a ship. A boat, huh? Where are we gonna find one of those? It's not the kind of thing people just leave lying around. Especially not Renan's. For an Imperial power, they never have shown much interest in maritime expansion. Still, I dare say there should be the odd small vessel here and there. All well and good, but that structure is slap bang in the middle of the ocean. A fishing boat won't cut it. Let's just try to find one that won't sink us halfway out, yeah? Not that it needs to be a huge galley like Almadria's or anything. Just as well since we've passed, let's see, literally zero huge galleys. All I know is we have to reach that thing in the ocean. Anything that might work, I say we try it. Thanks to Bregan, it seems like Ganeth Harrow's should be in good hands, at least. I wonder who they'll send to look after things. It'll be someone from one of the other Resistance organizations, no doubt. They could do a whole lot worse than someone like Doc. The knowledge of medicine would go a long way there. Wait, do you mean the old guy back in Calaglia? Ganeth Haros would be one hell of a trek from there. He'd have to get here first. My brother's old second-in-command, Lagiel, would be a perfect fit, too. Pity she'll probably still have her hands tied up with work in Menensea. Mahagsar will be the same story. They won't have the manpower as it is, let alone enough to start exporting it. Man, everyone's still struggling to get back on their feet, huh? Knowing Bregan, he'll probably take things into his own hands. He seems like the kind of guy who enjoys a challenge. Thinking back on it now, though, it does kind of make you realize just how many people we've gotten to know in each of the places we've visited. That's true. And each and every connection we've forged is priceless. Anyway, we can trust Bregan to take care of things from here. Come on, let's focus on the task at hand.